Today we're going to build a Mughal inspired cornice. We designed half a template and flipped it over to get a mirror image. Apply double stick carpet tape. Attach half inch upholstery foam. Trim your foam a half inch from the edge. To bridge the gap between the two pieces of foam, we used masking tape. For the first layer, use muslin, secure with a tacking strip. It's important to stretch the muslin to eliminate wrinkles. This will help your final fabric to lay flat. Leave four inches of fabric. Cut in a half inch from the edge of the foam. This will allow you to pull the fabric around the curves. Staple the edges. You may need an extra set of hands for the curves. Cut off excess and smooth out wrinkles. We used an antique silk fabric. It's important to line up the pattern of the fabric. Pin in place. Staple the top and sides first using a tacking strip. Cut off excess fabric leaving four inches. Cut the fabric a half inch from the edge. Staple around the curves and staple and staple and staple. Use a hot glue gun to tack the welting down. We chose to use a contrasting color. We made a backing strip. This will hide the rough edges of the fabric. Pin your backing strip in place. Staple along the tacking strip. Fold over and secure from the back. Staple, staple, staple. Turn over and check your work. We installed these with cabinet cleats, but you can use L brackets. 